how are your mentor relationships changing as your business grows? What I've really tried to do in the past uh, probably a year or so is really take a uh, focus and look externally out at people who um, could really help me take our business to the next level. So, you know, people who've done it before, uh, professional organizations that support businesses kind of over a certain size, um, and try to find people that, um, you know, essentially I, I kind of liken it to um, people I want to get into adventures with, you know. So maybe it's not a uh, explicit business um, purpose that you have, but, you know, it's a smart person, typically an entrepreneur, that's kind of who I gravitate towards, um, who's maybe done it successfully or had some success in, a, in their own way, um, you know, look for those people and uh, try to network to them and meet them and, you know, have a lot of lunches and breakfasts and, you know, just try to uh, soak up all the knowledge that I can. How do you make that introduction? Well, usually you've got to be introduced by somebody else, right? Because all these people are busy, right? So you need somebody to say, hey, it's worth your time. You know, you're going to want to know this guy. You're going to want to, um, you know, spend the time with him. So that's, that's probably the hardest part, you know, is just getting the introduction. Um, and, you know, sometimes you can go through like a professional organization and maybe it's a little bit easier, but it just depends on the organization. Sometimes they're set up for that and other times they're not.